A strategically placed move during a quiet game in one of the most strategically important locations for Ukraine. Locals try to continue daily life, but the port city of Odessa, a crucial shipping and transportation hub and home to the country's navy, has been deeply affected by the ongoing war in Ukraine. Over the weekend, Russian forces fired precision missiles into the port less than 24 hours after signing a landmark deal with Ukraine to allow grain exports to resume from three ports, including Odessa. Up to 25% of exports to Europe passed through the city before the war. It's a critical point for both Russia and Ukraine. The UN unequivocally condemned the airstrike but said it believes the deal still stands and that the first ships carrying grain could move within a few days. All parties have reconfirmed their commitment to the initiative. The government of Turkey has generously provided a physical space for the joint coordination center where operations are being established now. The center, which is set to carry out joint inspections at the entrances and exits of harbors, as well as to ensure the safety of the routes, is expected to start working on Wednesday. The deal has brought hope to Turkey's Black Sea shipping industry and local workers. The Turkish Defense Ministry issued a statement saying all parties are getting ready to coordinate the first grain shipment from Ukraine as soon as possible. Russia has been criticized for weaponizing food and fuel in the war, causing prices to spike globally and causing an international food crisis, including in Africa and the Middle East. Both Russia and Ukraine are key global exporters of grain, and the deal they signed is expected to ease the pressure on the global market. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that in spite of Saturday's attack on Odessa, ports are getting ready. Ukraine said we are ready to export the grain and Russia should unblock the Black Sea. But we perfectly understood that we should negotiate in this format. We trust Turkey and the UN. Meanwhile, the United States has said that it started working on a plan B to get exports out of Ukraine by ground.